today at the Rusty Glove Box, what we're going to do is try to remedy some of the problems that I've had in the past with uh, moisture building up in my uh, compressor. Uh, what I'm going to do that's maybe a little something different that uh, some of the others have done recently, instead of uh, adding an additional uh, condenser or a little radiator or something like that, I'm going to do this with uh, copper tubing. And I'm going to let the copper tubing act as the radiator, uh, kind of dissipating the heat and letting the moisture drop out of the lines. Going to also install a hose reel. Uh, I'm going to like that. It's going to help keep the hose up off the ground and it's going to be easy to pick up. So we're going to install it and let's go through all the steps. Here's some of the parts that I'm going to use. Uh, I've got about 12 foot of uh, half inch copper tubing. Uh, I'm going to use that so uh, with a jumper hose, flexible hose from the compressor to this loop to uh, possibly cool the air down. That copper will dissipate the heat kind of like a radiator and uh, we'll see how that does. Something that I wanted to show you was a product that I saw at the hardware store and picked it up for this project. And it was a little uh, nylon clamp like this. You just take it, get your copper tubing. It pushes on over. It has the two ears, kind of keeps it lifted away from the surface. And uh, I thought that had some advantages for the project that I was going to use it for. I had some of the little copper straps, but uh, I was going to give this a try and see how it worked. Well, what I've done, because uh, the wall studs are on 24-inch centers, which that's just kind of a, uh, a wall just to keep, keep you from bumping up against the insulation. It really, it's not a structural wall. Uh, but what I've done is, is stretch some strapping across from where the wall studs were and uh, that way I was able to mount the copper tubing uh, kind of away from the metal and uh, it actually give it a little, little more air to circulate around it. What I did also down here at the bottom, I've got a ball valve that uh, it's down at the bottom of this loop and it works as a trap to catch any moisture that might collect in the tubing. I ran a hose, clear hose, it goes outside the door and that way I can bleed off any moisture that might collect in the bottom of that hose and I'll be able to see it uh, inside the the hose. There's those little clamps. You can kind of get a better idea how it keeps it lifted away from the surface so it doesn't rub on anything. I decided what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to stick with copper tubing on plumbing the air. I was going to get that uh, blue tubing that you see and uh, I don't know I can do it just for a little more money. I can go with the copper and I think it'll probably do a better job. Something that I wanted to be sure and, and mention in case y'all didn't know about it is you can go to a lot of your ag stores and uh, they have these hydraulic hoses already made up. I got this one that was a uh, half inch by 48 inches long and it wasn't but eleven dollars so you, you can't get one made for that so uh, this thing's rated at uh, 4,000 psi and also there's these little hydraulic adapters because that uh, hose has straight pipe threads on both ends you can get that little swivel fitting you can get them in straights or 90s and uh, it'll screw right onto that pipe thread that's what it's made for well, I had uh, looked on my phone on the Harbor Freight uh, app that I had, and I saw that they had their hose reel on sale, so I went on to town the next day and picked one up. Where I'm going to hang it, that's an I-beam up there. 
and it's just a hair over four inches, so I drilled my holes out as far as I could. And on that I-beam, I'm gonna sandwich it, uh, this bracket with these two pieces of angle iron. Uh, I don't really want to drill a hole in it because it's a supporting beam up there on the ceiling. So I feel like this is going to be enough support to hold that hose reel. Well, I'm thinking that's just about right. Uh, don't want it any closer than that, I don't think. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and tighten down the mounts and I'll hook up the hose. That's how that uh, clamps onto that I-beam. I didn't want to drill into the I-beam. I uh, wanted all the strength in that thing. Uh, didn't want to diminish it in any way. And so I just use this as a clamp. Uh, it's pretty stout. I don't think I'll have any problems with it. But anyway, we got that hose reel mounted now, and it works pretty good. Well, today what we did, uh, I went ahead and replaced that uh, chipboard with some regular uh, prime lumber that I was digging around and found here in the little storage area. Went ahead and replaced a couple of pieces that I had here. And uh, then I went ahead and plumbed my copper on up. And I have it at a slight slope. And then up there I have a T with a drop that comes down. I pulled the license plates off the wall just to get this pipe run. And uh, then this quick connect right here, I can put my regulator there if I do any painting or use a nail gun, something like that. Uh, ran a drip leg on down, catch any moisture that might run down the pipe. Right now I don't have a shut off valve for that. I'll get that later at the hardware store, so I just kind of capped it off at the bottom. On up here what I did, I mounted that uh, hose reel. I'm really going to like having that. It's going to keep all the hoses off the floor and uh, easy to pick up. Well, hey, we got that stuff all hooked up, that hose reel and all the copper up there on the wall tucked away nice and neat. Hopefully that's gonna kind of remedy some of my problem that I have with uh, moisture building up in the lines. Uh, we'll give this a shot. I'll get back with you on that, on how it works, but I'm pretty confident on it that we've kind of got this whoop. So anyway, this is Rusty Glove Box. Thanks for watching. And I'm out of here.